Okay, so first off, what's a hitbox? Hitbox controllers look like fight sticks, but they're probably close to the keyboards in function. There's no joystick, only buttons. There's four buttons in place of the joystick, which is essentially the equivalent of W, S, A and spacebar on a keyboard. For some time now I've been interested in trying a hitbox, but the best well-known hitboxes at hitboxarcade.com are far from cheap. If you factor in the basic version it will cost you $199 and then an additional $75 for international shipping. And then you need to add import duties on top, you're looking at well over $300. International priority shipping can take up to 2-3 to three weeks, but this really depends on how many orders that are in process and how long it takes to get through customs. Also, they're often out of stock and restocking can take several months, so that doesn't leave a lot of options, especially if you're based in the UK or Europe. After searching the internet for a bit, I came across Blunderbuss Designs, who's a UK based company. They offer a number of shells which are made out of sturdy steel and aluminium construction metal. From there, you can choose your buttons, the types of joystick, mods, and even micro switches. I mean, the amount of combinations is pretty insane. And remember, this is a shell, so you can open it up and change out all the components as you wish. I had to wait a few weeks for restock and went for the One Zero Kuma. I wanted my own personal design, which Blunderbuss also offers. You provide the PSD, and the artwork will be die cut using a vinyl cutter machine. Once you've chosen your model and components, Blunderbuss will also set it up for you if you tick the free assembly service. In my case, I wired it up using the instructions from their website. This taught me a valuable lesson. A, how it all works, and B, don't wire the down and left buttons into the wrong sections. As for learning the hitbox, well in a few hours I was able to turn the tide and I managed to win a few games, but I still need a lot more practice. The hardest part is allowing the other Street Fighter players to think you're an easy mark and not getting the joystick out of the box again. I'm still struggling to land 360s and 720s, which I had down cold on my joystick. It's supposed to be easier, but for now I can't play with Hugo or Zangief. I'm still not entirely sure if hitboxes are banned or not, but either way this is still a very cool way to play fighting games and there's definitely some advantages here. All in all, I highly recommend Blunderbuss and I will be buying again from them in the near future. From a costing perspective, it's still not cheap. However, now I have something that's made of solid material, it looks and feels great, and it's all interchangeable. It might be the last hitbox you ever need, although I'm now thinking of getting a joystick one.